Hey everyone, Durani here from VG247 and we've been playing Monster Hunter Rise on Nintendo Switch ahead of its release on the 26th of March. And alongside our official review, we thought it'd be cool to just have a quick conversation about the game. But don't worry, there's no spoilers here. Let's get started. Let's go! Let's talk about the story first. James, what do you think of this here story? Yeah, it's a little bit thin, but I think... I really enjoyed the kind of characterization of Kimura Village. It's a really lovely place to be. I think yeah. it's quite it's quite representative of the game overall. The Monster Hunter Rise is just as good as all of the other Monster Hunters, but it's in a it's in a slightly smaller package, package. Yeah. based around the kind of technical constraints of the of the Switch console, right? So Kimura Village is really kind of lively, it's really kind of vibrant. But there isn't a huge amount of things to do. It's not the. It's not quite as large as uh, other other kind Is of hubs. Yeah, Estera. Yeah, Estera. It's not as it's not as big as other other hubs that we've seen in the past. Is it? Yeah. No, agreed. To be honest, um, Estera from Monster Hunter World is. Um, big for no reason <laughs> it's big for no reason there is a lot of a uh, lot of walking around in that area where in Kimura village it is i think i prefer it being confined um everything's within arm's reach in monster hunter world iceborne they sort of learned from from their mistakes mm. uh, with astera so i think they're sort of uh improving upon that just keeping everything at arm's reach it's i think it's nice it's tidy it does what it needs to do um story-wise i think monster hunter it fits into its own sort of like genre of games that have a story but it's just not the main focus it does combat so well and focuses focuses on the combat mm. to the point where it, it is so good that the story is almost an afterthought and i feel like capcom as as you know developers they they do a really good job of 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 knowing what their fans want and their fans just want to pulverize monsters if i'm very very honest that's all i want to do i don't care about story i'm just like okay i want to kill monsters harvest their their parts and make cool um items and gear from it yeah the the story is a lot kind of smaller stakes than we saw in monster hunter world right there were there were a lot of big kind of set pieces where you fought zora magdaros or whatever with the cannons and all stuff like that yeah i didn't like that bit very much i thought it was a little bit clunky Worst. yeah but, horrible so it's not it's not necessarily a bad thing that they've taken those they've taken those pieces out, but um, it it does make the the kind of uh, yeah the story beats a little bit flatter because the 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 missions that you go on are always going to be those same hunt style yeah. things. Even even like the down to the, the last boss, it's still a, a very traditional kind of hunt thing, isn't it? It's not got a it's not got a different unique flavor to a different kind of mission or yeah. whatever but I, I still enjoyed it i think that as i say the characterization of the of the hub is very good it doesn't feel as flat or necessarily big as you said with astera and i think it the the main thing that stuck out with the story to me was that it was a it had quite a bit of a different pace to monster hunter world i think that the the di the difficulty curve is a lot smoother yeah, in, in Monster Hunter Rise, there's you nothing. Don't as many walls. Exactly. That sense, yeah. The yeah, the in the main hunts that you go on through Monster Hunter Rise, there's nothing that as tough as Anjanath in Monster Hunter World. There's nothing as tough as Diablos until you get to pretty much the end game, the sort of end game areas right before you roll the credits. Yeah. Um, and which is which is very very weird. And if you don't know, Monster Hunter does this thing where you. I'm speaking to the viewers here. Monster Hunter does this thing where it, um, the game finishes, but it doesn't really finish. <laughs> <laughs> the game finishes, and uh, I think there's a meme in the community where it's like, okay, the tutorial's finished now. Now you can now you can go about your uh, your actual hunting. That's when the uh, credits roll, which exactly. I think I think it's pretty cool. It's strange, but I think they've they've uh, they've done it very well. It's exactly the. It does. That does mean that there is a pretty big difficulty spike. That you you you're fighting quite. Yeah. The 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 all of the fights are intense and they're all really good. But yeah. um, the the throw of the big boys. You think of um, old school monsters that we've had in previous monster hunters like Toby Kadachi. He is significantly harder than anything yeah. that you've fought up to that point when he when he kind of arrives. Uh, 
and there are a couple of other monsters like that uh, as well that come in right before you, you sort of roll the credits. It, yeah, it, there's, enough, there's not a lot to the story. There's not a lot to the story, but I think it's forgiven because everything else that they need to focus on, they do really well, I'd say. Um, speaking about what they do really well, let's talk about the combat. Let's just go straight in because the combat is my favorite thing. That's what everyone <laughs> knows and loves Monster Hunter for. Tell me what you thought of the combat. Well, it's the the fighting's as good as it's ever been. There's, it still has even on the the kind of smaller Switch console or whatever. It it still has the same kind of spectacle and that really kind of intense sort of nerve shredding kind of. Uh, I, I think that I forget to blink half of the time when I'm yeah. when I'm trying to do this stuff because it's it, it's basically just. 20 minute boss fight after 25 minute boss fight over and over again and yeah. uh i think you think about action games like i don't know devil may cry or something like that they're always mm -hmm. trying to make their their kind of fighting systems as kind of fluid as possible as kind of yeah as kind of fluid as possible but monster hunter is completely contented to be about as runny as nutella you've just got out of the fridge yeah. isn't it it's yeah. it's chunky Agreed. it's 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 kind of clunky and deliberate by design you're having to yeah. take stuff out put stuff away all of the, all of the time you're trying to yeah the the combos that you have access to you have to learn them very meticulously or you get stuck in stuck yeah. in combos and then just munched by somebody <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. I, I i definitely agree it's definitely got its um <clears throat> i don't think there's anything like monster hunters combat honestly it's 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 so nuanced they're, they're as he's talking about the combos, like 14 weapons and all of them mm. play differently. And I was saying earlier to myself how every weapon feels like you're playing a different game. That yeah, is like that's how so. I see it. Because for example, I played the whole story with the hammer, like all the way to the end, all the way to the end game, start yeah. to finish with the hammer. And I felt quite efficient towards the end of it. Mm. But I went back to use the long sword and like I'm doing one star quests <laughs> and I'm getting my ass handed to me. <laughs> There's me thinking I'm, I'm God's gift to Monster Hunter with, <laughs> with combat efficiency. I go back and I know absolutely nothing now because it feels so different. The combat is different, the, the moves, the controls. Um, which I think is good. I think I, th I think that's great because uh, I think that gives the game a lot of replayability as well. But um, speaking about some of the new things with the combat, what do you think about the um, the wire bug? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the 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 new kind of level of of kind of verticality that the this kind of well the the main thing that is really is it's a it's a new kind of exploration and movement tool essentially, yeah. isn't it? Where you have a, a sort of Spider-Man style sort of sling web shot that you can yeah. use to lift yourself into the air or run up walls and all that sort of stuff. And you, the the main use for it is to soften up monsters in so that you can eventually uh, weaken them and ride them, isn't it? Yeah. And like I was saying about you have to put your weapon away to use potions and all that sort of stuff, kind of chunky yeah. by design. Uh, it's very much integrated into the combat system in that way that you have to put away all of your weapons and then yeah. you can kind of slingshot about the environment as you want to and then you can kind of from the air integrate that into attacks that way uh, and yeah. i think that it's it, it's interesting it's really good kind of explorative tool in terms of helping you get around the the environments more easily and in a more kind of tactile and interesting way than just kind of sprinting around all yeah. the time which isn't a huge amount of fun yeah. um gives you but, way more movement options i think yeah where a lot of the weapons are quite clunky not clunky but they're slow a lot of the weapons yeah. that were slow in world are now super mobile and, and that was quite a quite a shock there's a lot of um room to escape a lot of room to escape so things like um when you get hit now when you mm. get if you take a hit you can if you've got a um a wire bug um available to use you can use the the wire fall and now you're just back and ready to go again like little things like that i think are so welcome and the um 
the wire bug attacks silk 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 line attack silk bug silk yeah oh, mate that, that's <laughs> silk, silk bind silk blind silk bind yeah so the silk bind skills i think that is one of the coolest things i've seen as someone who started in um monster hunter world so i didn't play any of the previous ones mm. but these silk band attacks that essentially give you layers of of options so there are two additional two additional silk band attacks each yes for each weapon that that <laughs> you said that with uh with with a calm tone but i think <laughs> that is the hypest thing because it changes your whole play style some of them because uh, i've experimented and some of them are okay but some of them literally give you a whole new play style and um i think that part of it with the um with the wire bug and the silk bind attacks that is something all in itself it, it inter intertwines all the way into the uh wyvern riding um I think, I think it's an awesome addition. Speaking of additions though, Palamutes, what do you think? They're awesome. Doggo gang. <laughs> yeah, Doggo's for life. I think the, it, just like the Y bug is a, is a big kind of movement addition. The Palamutes are, are another uh, step in that direction, aren't they, right? You, yeah. you kind of ride on the back of them and they're just a, a much cuter, friendlier, more yeah. fun way of getting around these different environments rather than just kind of trudging through through different things and just like with your kind of palico there's different gear that you can kit them out with yeah. that, you know, which looks great too they're really cute as well i i don't know how much palico you've... or palamute is the real question well you get you get both of them at the same time so no but there's... which one do you prefer if you had to get rid of one of them which one would you get rid of oh, <laughs> this <laughs> You can't you can't bring these questions. This is this is absolute blasphemy. <laughs> Palicos are awesome, man. Um, but the Palamute, literally, I I don't think I walked anywhere to be honest. Soon no. as it was available, soon as I ha I got any sort of breathing room, um, I was straight on the on the Palamute. I think it's it. even though the maps are smaller, yeah. I still felt like you you could like clear a lot of a lot of uh. Uh, space with the, with the Palamute definitely. I feel like it's a it saves a lot of time. Yeah, the maps are the maps are smaller, aren't they? But they're not yeah. they're not less varied. There's still there's still a lot of different levels. There's a lot of different and, and like we were talking about the wire bugs. You've you've got mm -hmm. a lot more kind of uh, built kind of built up hills and mountains and stuff like that. There's yeah. a lot more kind of again verticality, verticality yeah. that you can that you can kind of explore. And I think. The, the movement in terms of the the palamutes as well uh, and and the wire bugs like you talk about how these additions give an extra dimension to a lot of the weapons you think of something like my favorite weapon the charge blade yeah uh, which is uh, the you can say ch clunky but there's chunky it, it's all that sort of stuff yeah. but one of the main kind of weaknesses of the charge blade is like kind of closing distance and all of that yeah, sort of stuff outside, the gap. outside of outside of like one of the specific movesets and you think of the the kind of sprints and jumps that you can do with the palamute that that you can use to kind of start up combos and things like that yeah. it, it kind of smooths out all of the the kind of gaps in different weapons movesets and all stuff like that so i think the i think they're really i think they're really good additions i think they're really uh good quality of life additions that that, yeah. that just make it easier and well, not necessarily easier, but the the they make it less of a pain to to kind of play, I guess. Yeah, definitely. They, I feel, I feel like they're a a good addition. There, it's, it's a it's a it's nice to see them fight with you because their moves are are synced to your moves, which mm. I found like when I noticed that little detail, I was like, oh my god, is he like attacking like with me, like on B? I said, nah, this is this is awesome. <laughs> but um, speaking of another new addition. Um, Let's talk about rampages, rampage hunts. So they're a new quest type alongside uh, just a typical hunt, capture, quests, um, delivery quests. Yeah. Now we have rampage quests, which are a tower defense. I would, I would, would yeah, you that's agree? Yeah, that's the best way of describing it. They it kind of, sucks. <laughs> <laughs> the the kind of in-world description of it is that the... Uh, that there's this 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 big beast that is there's this um, event that happens 
every sort of few years within the the world of Monster Hunter Rise called the Rampage, where all different monsters are kind of riled up by the appearance of this this one great beast that um, you have to h- eventually hunt. Uh, yeah. But the Rampages are where between like five and ten different monsters all across the roster all attack you all at once. And you have to do this kind of tower defense mini game where you defend the gates of Kimura Village. And as you say, it's not incredible. It's not the best. It's not the best. Do you I think, know what? Yeah. I, I, it's not what I come to Monster Hunter for. Let, yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Yeah. It's not what I come to Monster Hunter for. I am willing to give it another go once um, I'm playing with friends. Yeah. Because of course we were playing solo. Um, there's no one really in the in the servers for us to match with. Yeah. Um, so when when um, my pals all grab the game and we and I play with them, maybe I'll have more fun with it. Because I played the mandatory rampage quests hmm. and then I avoided it like the plague. <laughs> all of the optional ones I haven't done, but I think there's quite a lot of. Um, one of the weapon trees are linked specifically to Rampage. Right. And um, it sucks because I hate it when good weapons and good good gear are tied behind a game mode that they they want to promote it. They want people to play it. So they put like a lot of the good gear behind it. But I'm like, I don't want to play this. <laughs> uh, there, there needs to be another option for me. But um, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just not my cup of tea. Well, so the, the the main kind of reward for doing the Rampage quest are defender tickets, and yeah. so you use those to uh, power up pretty much every weapon in the game. So yeah. you can use those to give extra attack, extra affinity, extra elemental damage to all of your weapons, and so that's what that's the kind of main draw. But I think the the main reason is that Rampage is it, it the kind of more frantic kind of plate spinning of a tower defense doesn't really mesh that well with the kind of the, the kind of sedate speed of like like for example if you get poisoned by one of the attacking monsters or whatever and it's an absolute yeah. disaster isn't it mm-hmm. because you have to put your weapon away you have to cycle <laughs> through to your antidote you have to drink it for ages and all this time they're, they're just bashing the doors in yeah and 100%. and that and, and it did grow on me it grew on me because it's a really good source of um rewards for difficult monsters uh, yeah. at, at a kind of less intense pace than uh if you just have to hunt them over and over again yeah um but yeah it's uh it it's it's a it's it's maybe a grower but it's not um yeah we'll it, see it's once, not everybody's cup of tea as you say yeah once we're playing with um more people then then i'll uh i'll see what it what it's really like because as you said when you're playing solo it's it's actually quite difficult it's quite difficult when you're when you're solo because you said mm. once you get hit if you get hit off one of your um one of your installations you're just done for, man. <laughs> everything, everything goes tits up. Soon as soon as you get hit off, that's it. You're 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 done for. Basically, there's a lot of a lot of work to get back um, to get situated again. Um, yeah, I think something interesting to kind of lead on to from here is yeah. that in the rampage mode, there is a lot of stuff happening on screen, especially yeah. with all the different kinds of monsters. And I think that that is the only place of any any that i can think of within the game where it is maybe being a little bit of sl- there's maybe been a little bit of slowdown or whatever and yeah. the performance in general has been really is, was really good for me docked and i can't say that i experienced much different when it was in handheld mode yeah. did you did you have any trouble with how it performed on the switch um no so i played solely solely docked so docked with pro controller that is uh my preferred way um simply because you you just have a bit more control and a bit more uh freedom yeah uh, with, when it's uh handheld um it was okay the main use i found for handheld was to um do the smaller quests where you're mm. not hunting large monsters so you're going out to hunt 20 of the of the smaller ones and or it's like collect endemic life or go out and and deliver an egg i'm like okay i'll do this one i can do this one from the comfort of my bed sort of vibes <laughs> and um yeah performance wise i think when i first started playing it i looked at the graphics and i said "Ooh, do you know what i feel like it could be better 
I feel like it could be better. And you know what? There's room for there, there's and, and, and you can say that about everything. Everything yeah, could be better. Exactly. But then I think after after playing it for literally three hours, it, I felt no difference to playing this than I did with World. Yeah. Like literally after a few hours I said to myself, This is this is Monster Hunter. Yeah. This, this just feels just like Monster Hunter and it you you forget about the frame rate, you forget about the, the graphics, and you just say, Oh, I'm fighting my favourite monster from the past games and it, it it it's just all happy times. For me personally, it was fast. The the speed that I set I like disregarded like the performance was 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 quick with the amount of fun that I was having, basically. But um yeah, how, how did you how did you find it performance wise? You said like no, like no issues at all. I didn't really have very, very many issues, as you say. The environments can be a little bit muddy in the texture yeah. department. It, it doesn't look absolutely incredible. But I thought that the the one of the more incredible parts are the monsters that they 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 do all all look really good. They look oh, really absolutely. unique, very expressive, and it's really sad when they when they're all limping away and crying when you break. That's break, where break I one thrive, of man. <laughs> I'm chasing them down relentlessly. As soon as I see them hopping and 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 making all the whiny noises, that's when a smile on my face comes. That's when that's when I queue up the the large barrel bomb and I wait for them to go to sleep. <laughs> that is my favorite favorite time. Oh, actually, a question for you. Speaking of uh, graphics and performance, uh -huh. um, readability. So when you're looking at this, when you're playing the game, and yeah. do you ever did you ever like? get to a point where you're like whoa there's just a lot of stuff going on on this screen right now or w were you okay with, with that sort of stuff i think when you've got the shortcuts for your items that stuff is very very small mm -hmm. in the kind of bottom right hand corner of the screen yeah and oh, not so much the ui not so much the ui i'm talking right. about like um the particles and stuff that's going on right like, on screen because a lot of these weapons are flashy there's there's laser particles flying everywhere sparks and when the flash bug goes off when bombs go off when um like Zenoga for example when he's doing yeah. his um he's doing his lightning effect or um there's just a lot of moving things on the screen did that ever become a problem for you or uh no I don't think so um especially with uh I think especially in in docked mode definitely not the 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 only kind of issues with that that I could kind of perceive is that you were trying to primarily play in handheld mode because it yeah. is it is very small. Um, I think that you maybe lose a lot of the kind of minute tells in the kind of animations of what big monsters mm -hmm. are going to do Agreed. and you might find it difficult to kind of exact a, a, a kind of proper strategy if you are playing in handheld mode and can't pick up on these different cues. Yeah. Um, but I think we've said it all. It looks, it looks good. It looks as good yeah. as it need to. It ticks all of the boxes in in every respect in terms of in terms of combat, in terms of the different monsters, in terms of the variety of the locales. It ticks all the boxes in terms of what you'd expect from a proper Monster Hunter game, and it is definitely uh, it's definitely worthy of that. Yeah, I think it's a welcome addition to the Monster Hunter. Uh franchise i think a lot of people were very worried they're very worried but i feel like i can just say to people that you don't have to be worried what like cause everyone's taking their um their impressions off the demo and i see a lot of people saying ah oh, the demo these weapons like my favorite weapon got nerfed my f i'm like dude like trust me just play the full game when you can actually customize what you want because some of the gear sets in a demo in comparison to the the full game you'll be like oh They've 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 done me dirty here in the demo for my favorite <laughs> weapon, but in the full game you have all of your skills that you're used to. But um, so summarize it, summarize Monster Hunter Rise in uh, one word. What would you say? Wow, you put me on the spot there. <laughs> it's uh, we 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 spoke about this a little bit before we started recording that the. the uh, that that it's it's a really it's really tough to kind of uh, because when, you, when you're talking about a Switch game right that it's a big 
uh, the, not the, completely the opposite, but it's big. It's like a smaller, smaller console, and you think of slightly yeah. lesser performance. But Monster Hunter World is just as just as large as you kind of expect. It's not. Uh, it's a chunky experience that Monster you get. Monster Rise. Monster Hunter. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Monster Hunter Rise is a bit is a big experience that you're getting a lot out of. Um, so I, yeah, I guess the one word would just have to be monsters. Monsters. Nice. <laughs> monsters. Nah. Um, make sure you check out the written review. Make sure you check out the written review as well. And all of the guides that are going to be coming out as well. There's so many things to speak about that we didn't talk about. There's so many little things that we're going to be discussing and uh, and guiding. We're going to be discussing and guiding and helping. Yeah. Take care, everyone. Peace out.